back again, right, as you can tell, I've got the, um, the spray, and this was all I didn't realise I've still got this, so I made up, I've still got me, I've got me spray for it, my grey primer, and have this, and we've uh, sprayed this up, but I might just leave this, it's a nice pull out, just fill the holes in off it, so, it's one of them. Um, mm, I'm thinking about revinyling or making um, might make cushion real looking fabric on it put some fabric onto it make all nice good seat covers on the floor I'm just going to make that look matte black might keep this colour on so it looks quite smart but if I'm going green on there I might go um, like a green in there, uh, dashboard's got to come off, I just matte black that as well, and this has got like one of them like, little com compartment dashes, so if it comes apart, I might put lights in it, if not I'll just leave it and put the lights into something down here, I'll put floor lights in for a laugh, but I don't know yet, but I'm going to get these primed up as well, because when they're primed they're done, and I've got the steering wheel that'll come off and bits and bobs. But there you go, buddies. Let's see what you think. Um, I'm going to come up with an idea for the seats. Don't know if it's going to work yet. I'm going to have to rely on Terry to sort that out. Um, but this is all going to be matte rub. No, I'm not even going to rub it down. I'm just going to rough it up a little bit. Um, it should be okay. It should be okay anyway. There you go. So that's the other job to be done. I'm just roughing it up with a bit of um, P400 and P800 for a bit of a wet shine. I don't want it too rough because once I can do the jobs I can do, but there you go. Um, I was going to colour it like on my... you can see that. I was going to do that colour on there, you know. But it would be a bit too bright even though I do actually have the spray here. But it's that thingy shitty spray, but if it's going to go on outside, this plastic out stuff is not bad for outside. Once as you put the varnish on it, when you put the clear varnish on it, it does heal. A lot of my friends use this, and when it chips off with it having the grey undercoat, I can most probably make it look like it's been in a few war wounds, because I, I want to be creative with this. This is all well idea of scale, everything's down to scale. Dash the dashboard and that, there's going to be a few things done onto that, but I'm going to make some kind of seat covers for it. Uh, I've got an idea, might work. But um, I will make the, the seats more realistic. And then there's the man, the man, the man. Hello! Let's even get face recognition on him. There he is. Anyway, as you can see, he's a bit generic and he needs a bit of... Oh, kiss my ass. Um, he's going to look, you know, can't really do much with him unless give him a good clean in a bowl of water and literally just, you know, leave him as he is because at the end of the day, he's a driver. But he does not like my dad, unfortunately. So... Unless I come up with some idea or find a company out there that actually do realistic faces onto dolls' faces. Dun 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 dun. Look at them eyes, man. I'm going to eat your babies. Anyway, right. Um, yeah, he fits in there okay. But to me, he's not. Right. He doesn't sit. He levitates. So when he levitates. He levitates, as you can see. I'm levitating on my ass. So I'm going to warm it up with a heat gun and get him to look like he's sitting on that seat mode because it's going to be quite smart. And these seats are going to come off and be primed anyway. This all got to be primed. Um, but it all needs a wash first. And the best thing I can do is just rub a bit of emery cloth over that. But it should be alright. When you cook, see you next time. Hopefully you'll see it all... You know, not rubbed up, it'll all be ready for spraying then. It's a spraying part, I start getting nervous because I don't want it to go OTT, but you know, 
Um, so I've still got to spray up the mud guards as well. And I've got I've got the mud guards here. So as you can tell, I've got like some storage box. Then on the chassis itself, like I've got got the rear and the front ones to do as well. So they all need spray up, um, prime it up. Down. Um, I'm not going to do nothing to the lights, I'm going to keep that as it is I think and just put up with it as being what it is, so I'm going to do anything out there. Um, fuel tank, not really any need to do there, I'm just going to make it a bit more realistic to make it look like it's got a different colour on there. Um, so. That I need to do in, and then I've got um, like a compressor uh, duct on there, which should come off quite easy. I think. There you go. I've got, and then what I've got to do is on the old chassis I'm using, I've still got to take all this off the back. Um, I've got no backlights as you can tell, but I need this for the tipper, so I've got to find out where the tipper points are. See, um, what I'm gonna to have to do. Is cut that off there when I put it onto the aluminium to make it onto the bracket. Um, I'm not going to need a lot off this, just, just bits for the tipper. But I might just get a bit of bolts and bolts it, you know, and bolts it in because it's not going to be tipping, it's just going to be a flat deck. But there you go. Um, so I'm going to cut these off cut the other ones and then take the boot but until I've done the measurements of where everything's going to go this is going to be my template for the um, frame and when the frame's done I'm just going to get myself some L bracket uh, about a metre two metres of it and then I can make me bits and bobs then to go in it should work um, just as a few things on there I need to save um, I'm not going to paint the bumper either, I'm going to leave that, well actually no, I will paint that, I think I will, um, because it gives a bit more realism, you know, Paul's done a brilliant job with this and doing it already ready for me, so all I've got to do is use the outer frame on it, it's wider than the other frame, so I've got to make sure that I concentrate on the bottom frame and not the top frame, so Literally, um, will it have any moving bits on it? I, know, I was going to go for putting electronic tipper on it with a servo that Scott sent me, but I thought, no, can't be doing that. Um, so, no, it's going to be basic what you see now is what you're going to get, but it's going to be sitting on there. A crawler frame because literally I'm more into scaling and I think I'm not going to really be doing a lot of crawling with it so the scaler seems to be more like you know I like what Paul's done there he's giving me an idea now for that I might even sell this stuff but you know um, as I said the bottom piece doesn't fit it on properly so tomorrow I'll be doing a measurement on this and Hopefully, you know, it'll be what it is, but there you go. Um, so I'll strip all this down now and get it ready for prepping. And then, I don't know, I might give him a spray up. I might cover him over, I think, and from white undercoat and get rid of the mould marks on his face and give him brown hair and, you know, dirty cheeks like he's been really grafting. And, um, I'll, look, I'll do something with him anyway, but he's the last problem with that. So, there you go, everybody. Take care, sleep well. Good night, RC Mafia, dude.